Congressman Ro Khanna of California. Congressman, it's good to have you with us. So the chairman of your committee, James Comer, has said previously that, in fact, they are getting all the documents that they've asked for from all the organizations they've asked for them from. He's also said, well, we haven't drawn a connection yet between Hunter Biden and President Biden, but we believe there's a lot of smoke. So far, no fire. What is your sense of why they're going through this exercise and where it ends? I'll talk about a downshift from your previous segment where we're talking about the inspiring march on Washington and Dr. King and now the petty politics of the modern House. I mean, what we should be doing in the House is talking about legislation for the racist shooting in Jacksonville. What we should be doing in the House is talking about economic costs, child care costs. Instead, this speaker is not focused on the issues that people care about. I didn't get one question in my town hall uh, well, last night on Hunter Biden or Joe Biden. And that's because the American people know the facts. Joe Biden, there's not a single shred of evidence that a single payment went to President Biden. And Donald Trump's post reveals everything. It's total politics. It's because he was impeached twice and he's running in 2024. They want to try to bloody up the president for 2024. This is all politics and has nothing to do either with the law or helping the American public. So, Congressman, while the Republicans are focusing on this potentially in impeachment inquiry, one thing the American people probably do care about is the federal government staying open. And as we just noted, there's not a lot of time to get a deal done. There had been some momentum to perhaps some sort of short-term spending uh, bill passed. Um, but what's your sense of where things stand? A lot of stuff can change over recess, as you well know. Uh, where do you see this going when you guys resume next month? How worried are you the government could shut down? I'm concerned. And the reality is that the president made a deal with the speaker to avoid the debt uh, default. Uh, some of us didn't like the deal. I didn't like the deal. I mean, it, uh, in my view, had two harsh uh, cuts on social programs that the president made a deal. And now the speaker is saying, no, that deal uh, is no longer valid. We want additional cuts to uh, programs like Social Security or Medicare uh, or other uh, housing programs. And that's just not going to fly. He's got to stick to the deal that he made with the president. Uh, again, the problem, though, is he's got a caucus that on his side that was upset with that deal. And the question is whether he's going to be able to persuade them. But it is a uh, risky situation. And like you said, they're only about 11, 12 days to get this done. Uh, Congressman, let's take a, a little detour from electoral politics and talk about something that I think every single parent around America is concerned about at the moment, and that's child care and the cost of child care. There really is a, a crisis. It's costing something like $10,000 a year on average for people just to look after their children. It's far too much money. You and Congresswoman um, Nancy Mace of South Carolina, the Republican, have, are launching a, a child care caucus. What, what do you think you can do to make child care more affordable? for Americans? Well, according to a Republican pollster, 86 percent of Americans believe that the government needs to do something to bring down child care costs. As you pointed out, it's on average $10,000 for every family, almost 10 percent of the income. And 85 percent of women say that when they leave a job, it is often because of child care concern. So we need to do a few things. One, we need to provide more government support for child care. On September 30th, there's a cliff. The American Rescue Plan funding runs out. Almost 70,000 child care centers will lose money. Uh, I'm working with Fancy Base and others to try to get that funding extended in the short term. In the long run, I believe we should have $10 a day child care. That would be the maximum cost of $2,400. Uh, a year for families, and that is something that the government should be willing to support through quality uh, child care providers. Child care cliff, something a lot of people may not know about but ought to look into. Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna of California, thanks so much for being here this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.